Hey guys, how you all been? Hope you all been good. We are going to do a bit of unboxing today. Been waiting a little while for this. So, let's get going and let's see what we've got in here, shall we? Alright, there we go. All set up, all set up. Get a nice, nice, sharp knife. Didn't really work, did it? Very thick packaging. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, what we got? Oh yes. What's it look like guys? Nice ZD Racing White Scout Truggy. Brushless, ready to go. Well, I wonder how good that'll be, eh? Now I must admit, I love these ZD racing cars, they do seem very strong for what they are, very strong for what they are. This is it guys. Du -du 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 -du. Oh my god. I really was not expecting that guys. I was not expecting that. I mean Look at the size of this one ape scout. Exactly the same version. Um or mate shall I say SD ra uh, ZD racing car, but it's the buggy size. That is the size of the tire for the buggy. That is unbelievable, the difference. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm so pleased. Right. This is... It looks nicer than it actually does in the pictures. Look at the size of them. <laughs> well, see this one? Don't need that now. That can go. Size of that difference, eh? So we've got a manual here. Do we need the manual? Nah, UK plug, always comes in handy, transmitter, do you know what, that's actually quite smart, oh, just the four AA batteries, it's actually very smart, wasn't quite expecting it to look so nice actually, just for that. Little gold uh, inside the wheel. Oh well, there you go. Just like chucking rubbish around everywhere here. Lovely. Oh, it's all in here. Oh, it comes with a charger as well. Look, wasn't expecting that. But I suppose why would it come with a plug otherwise? To be honest, it's not going to be used, so it might as well just stay in the box. I won't be needing that one. But someone who's just starting the hobby up, they will be using it. Right, here she is. Box down there. There was a screw in that box. I better check in a minute. But, oh, my God, this looks so nice. I wasn't expecting it to be just as, as beautiful as this. I really wasn't expecting it. Oh, I'm losing all them there. Right. I thought they was actually stuck on there. Maybe I'll put a bit of, tiny bit of glue on these and just stick them there so they don't come off. Oh, look at that. It's turned up and it's broke. That's a shame. What a shame. There's some marks on the inside as well, which... You can see on the outside of that. That's a shame, that is. Well, I suppose, you know, it's it's got sent over all the way from Hong Kong. And it happens in shipping, I suppose. What, what else can you do about that? Right, so the car itself is lovely. It is lovely. Come with a battery. Not sure if it's a 3 or 4S. Have a look. Oh, I think 
that is a 3S LiPo. So I'll be running this on a 4S LiPo, but that is good. That is good it's come with one. I mean, I haven't had very much good feedback on these. I've seen very bad feedback on them, but it's always good to have one. It does look nice. It does look nice. Doesn't feel like there's much oil in these. Doesn't feel as good as the um, buggy one, the suspension. Feel very loose. Maybe they're meant to be different because of the set out. I don't know. Don't know what you guys think, but it is gorgeous. Should we go for a closer look, closer view? It is nice. It's super wide as well. Super wide. I'm going to get the buggy and put it next to it for you. <laughs> Look at that. That's a 1 8 scale buggy, guys. The same make. The ZD Racing buggy. It's the same one. But it's nowhere near as wide. The arms, I thought the arms were the same. But they're not. They're absolutely gigantic. I mean, putting my hand on it, the, the, the whole arm is the length of my hand. Very surprised how nice this is. I've just noticed something though, guys. The pinion gear. Oh. Tell you what. That's a very big motor. Con considering what I've got in my other one, this motor is, it is a lot fatter. I said it's a lot chunkier. It's even got a fan built on it, look, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but I was saying the pinion gear is very small on this. So I've got others to upgrade it, but we've got to give it a go first. It is, I'm very surprised, but it is very nice. Very smart. Right, so let's get it all up together, put it all back together, put the wheels on. And we go from there. I've done two wheels, guys, and oh my god, it is absolutely amazing. It's it, it, they're massive. Like you look at the Traxxas um, X Max wheels, and I would like to compare these. I would like to put these up to them. I wonder why they were so dear online, but they are unbelievable. They really are unbelievable. Get you in the right place again, guys. Let's get these wheels on here. I am so excited to test this out. I kind of do understand now why the pinion gear is smaller. Because it's got to cope with these wheels. These wheels are humongous. Oh, right guys, I have just found something. Now I'm gonna show you, because I don't know what I'm gonna do about this part yet. There's a screw missing when it focuses, look at that. There's a screw missing, so I can't quite put that wheel on yet, but amazing, amazing. So impressed. Luckily enough, guys, I found the screw. It was in the box. I oh, nearly dropped it then, but I must admit, it's got a very big head actually on it. 2.5 mil. It's made of pretty decent metals to be like that. Right, I'm gonna have to chuck some thread lock on it. And I think I'm gonna take them all back off on the whole car actually and um, chuck thread lock on everything because the last thing I want is to go out and then that happens. So I'm gonna do that. Oh no. Oh, there you go, a bit too much. It come out a bit quick. I thought it was getting empty there. 
Right, now that is all back together and back on, I've lock threaded it all on there. I would always suggest to lock thread everything or don't have a lock in now. Da, 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 da. Got a feeling this is going to last. Really have. But we'll soon find out. Definitely soon find out. Right, now that's all back together with lock thread on it. Um, I'm going to just put it together and I will be taking it back apart to lock thread everything. Um, but for now, I've really, I've got to test it. I've really got to test it. It looks amazing. Like, what? Look at the size of that with the wheels on it. It's unbelievable. I've never owned something this this big. This this is uh, this is amazing. Uh, can't go out, can we? Got to get everything on there first, guys. Don't matter how badly I want to take this baby out. Do it properly. And this has got locking nuts in it as well, so. That doesn't have to be lock thread. Makes life a little bit easier. Um, take it, they go at the bottom, they go at the top. Da, 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 da. Two millimeter. Perfect, bam. All right, straight in the top. Hold quite tight to be honest. You might not get that straight on there. And I've done it wrong straight away. I can already see by doing that up. Then bits do go there. Mm -hmm. Right, I can feel that coming through at the bottom now. Now, I could definitely do with my grippers and grip that under there. No, I'm not going to grip that under there. Let's get the other side on and do it all at once. Definitely sounds better to me. Alright. I need to calm down. I feel like I'm rushing, so I can't do it properly. I'm just so excited to get this out. That's it, lovely jubblies. That's in. And now we'll get the nut on the end of it. Now I've ordered the 4x4 version of this as well. Um, oh my god. I can't see it being this big, but how amazing would that be if it was? Um, I would be so impressed. I can't see it because the one eight scale buggy, you've seen that. I love the buggy, don't get me wrong, but this is something else. This is seriously something else. And they're all around the same sort of price range. You're looking at about three, three hundred and fifty quid. Depends if you want to buy it all in all together or not. The four by four version I've got of this, I have bought that all separate. So I bought the car, which I'm waiting on, and then I'm going to be buying a brushless kit for it, completely separate. Look at that, guys. That's all on. We need a four S lipo. Or should we start with a 3S? Nah, why would you do that for? I've got my uh, 4S LiPo ready to go. Lovely. You need to get four AA batteries for the transmitter. Right, let's see if we get any smokages and plug it in. Oh, lovely. 
Did you hear the power of that? What's going on here, guys? Ah, you've got to hold the button for it to stay on. Steering so very, very, very slow. I was expecting that. I'm not going to lie. I have got some beefier ones to put in there. It works great. It works great. We try it properly, shall we? It wants to go. It wants to go. She's ready to go, guys. ZD Racing 1 8 scale Truggy. Absolutely amazing. You right there, mate? Yeah. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Do you want to hold the camera for me? Yeah. Straight away. I'm going to need a wheelie bar for this one, guys. Or do I up the pinion gear? Just doesn't want to keep going up. Just wants to go up. Every time. <laughs> Even in reverse. That steering's on full. I definitely need to upgrade that. Yeah, this is so much fun. I don't know if it's the size of it or the power, but this is fun, guys. The steering's so much better reverse. Look at that in reverse. Thank you very much, guys. What do you think of it, Zach? Good. Good? Yeah, you're going to... I didn't even in full speed. I'll just flip over straight away. Do you want a quick go, mate? Mm. Oh, that's it. Out. You be careful on the throttle. Here we go, mate. You yeah. can have a go. Good. You tell me what you think. That looks fun. Just watching it looks fun. <laughs> Go on, do a wheelie, mate. Oh, one minute. Bring it here. This could be for the review now. Stop. Stop there, mate. I'm feeling, I'm looking at the wheel and it's very bad. Look. Uh, see, look at that again. Careful, mate, don't touch that. So the wheel's come off. The nut has gone underneath the wheel. Not a very good start. I'm not going to have one of them. They're a very big nut, you can see on the other side. Apart from things coming off from the beginning, it was my fault. I didn't take it to bits and thread lock everything i am going to do that i just wanted to get it out me and the boy could not wait so we need to thread lock stuff now definitely that's a big death all guys you buy one of these make sure you thread lock it other than that it is an amazing truck or truggy shall we say thanks for watching